In this exercise, you'll create infill gratings in the open areas inside of our grading group. An infill grading has no criteria applied to it. Any area bounded by feature lines or lot lines that is not already a grading can be converted into an infill grading. Using infill gratings to fill in holes in a grading group ensures correct contour display and volume calculations. This exercise continues from grading from a building footprint to a surface. So let's go ahead and start creating infill gratings. Note that this exercise uses the grading-6 drawing with the modifications you made in the previous exercise. Now let's go ahead and pull up our grading creation tools toolbar. If you remember, we get to that toolbar by going to the Home tab, and then over to the Create Design panel, and then click the Grading drop-down and Grading Creation Tools. Next, on the Grading Criteria, we want to click this drop-down list and we want to select Grade to Distance. Now note that although an infill has no criteria, you select its grading style from an existing criteria. Go ahead and select this arrow right here and expand it. We're going to expand this panel a little bit more. And then from the style list, select shoulder. This setting specifies the grading style to apply to the infill. Lastly, let's go ahead and create the infill. Click this drop down and then select Create Infill. Now, our command line is asking us to select an area to infill. We're going to click within our right viewport and we're going to select this area right here, which is our ramp area. Now, if you notice, after clicking that, we have a diamond that shows up. A diamond gets displayed in that area, indicating that an infill has been created. Let's move our toolbar off to the side, and you'll even see in the left viewport, we have all of this gray area shown now. Let's take this a step further. Go back to your toolbar, and under Style, we're going to select Pad. We'll move our toolbar off to the side, click the right viewport, and we'll click inside of our building footprint. Notice we get our diamond again, and if we move this off to the side, you'll see that our building pad now has a style applied to it. So that's how you go about filling holes in a grating in Civil 3D.